Alright, this will be a quick video to go over how to cite Mergent Online uh, in APA. So first we'll go into Mergent and click Go. And we'll search for Crackle Barrel Company. Okay, so we're in the company details. Under here you have something like income statement, revenue, net revenue, under key financials. So you need to know how to cite this. So whenever you're not sure how to cite something, you'll go into the APA guide and use Citation Fox. And inside Citation Fox, you'll try and figure out what sort of resource you're using. So uh, this is an online and World Wide Web resource. And this isn't a book or a reference entry. It doesn't fall under online periodicals. It's not a forum. You can also check under Printed Online. It doesn't really fall into any of these. You could say data set, but it's not exactly a data set. It's more of a report. So the best option to go with is to simply use the generic web page. And you can see it also goes by author. So in this case, because we don't see any particular author for this, we're going to use corporate author. So here's the general format that we're going to use. So I'll just copy that and I'll paste it into Word. So I need the corporation or organization name, so that will be Emergent Online. And the format will be month, year, month, day. So as you can see under Key Financials, it has it as of January 27th, 2017. So we'll put in 2017, January 27th, just like that. Title of the website is actually the title here. And that goes in italics. And the last bit is retrieved from and the website. Which, for lack of a better option, is just going to be what you have in the top here. Now sometimes those links are unstable. Here you don't really have a choice um, because there's no button to give you a permanent link. Uh, in situations like this if you need to absolutely make a copy of something the best thing to do would just be to print it out to have for your own reference. But uh, as far as the citation goes this is your best option in this situation. So okay we built our reference page reference. So if you were to write this inside a paper itself, the way you would cite it is So whenever you're doing an in-text citation, it's always going to be the first entry, which is either the author's last name, or in this case the company name, and the year, and that's it. Uh, if you quote anything directly in quotation marks, uh, which wouldn't really be appropriate for this situation, um, then in that situation you would have to say what line it was on. And as you can see, it's pretty impossible to get that out of a chart like this. So in a situation like that, I would just say paraphrase instead of quoting. Um, but quoting would usually then go with um, page or paragraph number. And that's all there is to it.